Welcome back. Um, today uh, we're going to look at creating our first uh, enemy plane. We're going to create a simple one first and then in later videos we're going to go over how to make more uh, more complex uh, games. So let's um, where to start. First we start with the sprite and we're going to call it sprite enemy basic and the sprite we're going to use is let's find it out in our shared folder game design and we're in wingman sam resources and I always like to look at the pictures themselves so let's try Tiles. Yeah, there we go. Uh, let's find our enemy. This one here will be our basic enemy. We do want to remove the background on this one. And uh, like all of our sprites so far, or many of them, we're going to center that. And we're going to use precise collision checking. Um, so now we need to create an, an enemy basic object. So let's do that. And we're going to use this sprite we just created. Now in this uh, basic enemy object, there's a few things that uh, we want to do. Um, first thing is, is to create um, in the create event, let's go to that. Add the create event. There's a few things we want to do. The first thing we want to check to see is if the plane has gone off the bottom of the view. So we're going to uh, do a um, right here test variable. The variable we're testing is y, and the value we're testing testing is uh, view underscore y view, which is the top left corner of the, uh, the the current view it's a y coordinate and then uh, we're gonna say plus 480 which is the which is the height of our our view and we want to say if it's larger than that and if that's the case uh, we know that our plane has gone off the bottom of the view and therefore we don't want to keep track of it anymore so we just wanted to uh, destroy itself. So let's do that first. And we do want to have the plane destroy itself. So make sure it says self right there. Uh, the other thing we want to do is we don't want the planes to move until they're about to come on screen. And so we're going to test for that. And we'll start with the planes. When we put them in the room, they won't move at all. But right before they're about to come on screen, uh, what we're going to do is get them, get them uh, now moving down. Uh, towards the player. So again, we'll test variable. We'll test the same variable, the y coordinate or the y, uh, the y variable. And the value we want to look at is to see if it's just about to come on screen. So we would say uh, view underscore y view, um, and we say minus uh, 32. I think is a good good number. And we want to check to see if it's uh, greater than that, if it's larger than that. Because if it's larger than that, we want to actually get it moving. Um, okay, so we'll do that. I'm putting this all in the create event, but that's not really the right event for these kind of things. Uh, it should be in the step event. So I'm going to actually add that step event here. I'm going to move what I put all, put in the create event, and we're going to move that all to the step event. So I'm going to cut it from here and paste it here. And that's the right position for it. And I'll go and delete the create event. All right, so we've got a step event. If it's gone off the bottom of the, uh, the view, then we're going to destroy the plane. If it's just about to come on screen, however, we do want to give it a forward motion. 
So this is where we actually apply the movement. That would be here. Now remember the the plane is coming at us uh, two pixels at a time, and the, the the background is scrolling two pixels. So we have to kind of take that into account. So we're going to set the original or the speed to uh, two, because remember we're going towards it by two. So we want it to actually look at least in rel relation to the plane that's coming at, at you four pixels at a time. So we'll do that and we'll go down. I think so, that's all we need there. Now a few other things we're going to need for our, our planes is uh, explosion uh, sprites. So we're going to do that now. Okay, so let's create those two sprites. So create sprite and the first one we'll call uh, explosion one and this will be our small explosion let's find that here I guess two, yeah that's the small explosion then we have a larger one for the big plane so we'll, we'll choose that one we do want to remove the background and do we want to center it yes we do okay so I say okay there and we might as well make the big explosion while we're in here as well Let's do that. I can find it. There it is. That looks pretty good. We'll center that one as well. So now we have our explosion sprites. Let's make make our explosion objects now. Here's our sprite. Choosing our sprite. Now, with the first explosion, uh, that's going to be like when a bullet hits a plane or um, s smaller explosions like that. Uh, we just want to delete the explosion once it's done animating. So uh, let's go to that event. We're going to explosion one, and we go to the animation end event. That's uh, right here. And all we want to do is have it destroy itself at the end of the animation. That that way the explosion doesn't happen over and over again. Uh, second one is the larger explosion, and that's going to be used when the plane is supposed to blow up the the actual player plane. Uh, so that's a little bit more involved. Um, again, we add an animation event, end of animation event, there. And we want to actually uh, sleep for a millisecond or uh, about a second. And then uh, we'll set redraw to false because nothing is really going on on the screen right then. And then uh, we want to. Uh, restart the game. In this first version of the game we're just going to restart it if the if the player plane blows up. Later on we're going to be adding damage and things like that but uh, right now we'll just make it pretty draconian. Uh, so let's find that in our menus here. You can never find this one. Hmm. There it is. We'll just restart the game at that point. All right. Next, we add a collision event between uh, the basic enemy plane and uh, the bullet. Let's go back to our basic enemy, uh, add that collision event, and we're looking for the bullet. And what should happen when uh, the plane uh, hits the bullet, or the bullet hits the plane? Depends on what point of view you're looking at. Uh, we First, we want to actually destroy the bullet. Uh, so let's do that first. So that's the other thing. And then uh, we want to set the score, because you destroyed one of the planes. Um, the score is actually down here. Set score. So we'll drag that on. And we're going to give uh, the player 10 points for destroying the, the enemy plane with your bullet. Remember, the bullet comes out of the player plane. 
and then um, then we want to create well let's let's change the plane into a an explosion one so let's do that so here it is change object I'm going to switch that to an explosion one and remember that at the end of the explosion once the animation ends it's going to uh, destroy itself so that that should be the behavior we're looking for let's give that a try but before we try that we I'd like to also do the uh, the large explosion as well now this is what should happen when the bullet hits the, the basic enemy but um, there's also an event collision event between the enemy basic and the uh, player plane and that's a little bit more involved uh, what should happen there is um, you shouldn't get any points for that I don't think you can think about that later but what should happen when this occurs probably uh, we want to uh, change the 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 parent or the the player plane uh, to an explosion two which is our larger explosion so I'm going to say other because that's the other thing we crash into our object is explosion two this time and that will turn the big plane into an explosion which is what you want uh, you still need to delete the uh, the basic enemy plane so we'll do that as well I'm thinking that's all we need to do but let's try it and see see what that looks like So in order to try this out, we need to put uh, the some enemy planes in the room. We'll do that do this way at the bottom of the room so we can uh, see see it coming at you. Um, we'll choose our enemy plane here, and we'll just maybe put three on the screen. And those should come on screen, you know, uh, just a little bit after the game starts. Let's give this a try. That seemed to work uh, when we were shooting at it. Let's try again, and this time uh, we'll just allow the, the small plane to collide with the big plane. There we go. Game restarts. It's good. If I shoot the plane, yeah, we get the little explosion. So it looks like it's behaving properly. 